Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to effectively study technical material. Back in college I had to take a lot of mathematics, physics, and computer science courses which I ended up doing very well in because of the way I approach studying. In addition, nowadays I usually have a pretty easy time when it comes to learning new technical skills like programming languages, frameworks, or libraries. So in this video I'm going to try and break down my study strategies so that those of you who struggle can maybe try out some of my tips. But before we get into all of that, I want to mention the sponsor of this video which is Scalar Academy. Scalar is an online tech diversity for the top 1% of software developers in the country. Scalar offers an intensive six to eight months of computer science and data science courses taught through live classes delivered by tech leaders and subject matter experts. They're a really transformative school revolutionizing the way that people learn and then get hired. They have an industry ready curriculum with top instructors and mentors to help you achieve your goals. Scalar understands you're busy. So yes, these are live classes, but they can be scheduled in a flexible way for you to maintain your current lifestyle. And of course, each lecture will be recorded so you can access to learn and revise at your convenience. And what's really nice is they have personalized mentorship with regular one on one sessions with industry experts to help you evaluate your progress. Comprehensive curriculum is very thorough and has everything you need to start acing your interviews. So if you guys are interested in Scalar Academy, go into the description, click the link, check it out. They have a webinar you can check out just to learn more about it. And if you like it, maybe enroll. Thank you, Scalar Academy for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back into how I study technical material. I think that comprehension is much more important than the volume of consumption, meaning that I genuinely believe that your goal should be comprehension. So whether that's reading less or studying less to understand more, that to me is much more important than just trying to consume a lot of content in hopes that you'll understand it. With that being said, I'm gonna get into the first thing I like to do when I start studying something, which is to find an angle to get passionate or interested in what you're studying. So for me, and I don't think it's crazy to say this, I find that it's much easier to study and comprehend material when you're interested in it, right? When you're interested in something, you're usually much more engaged. And when you're not, you're not as engaged. Now, obviously, there's going to be times where you have to study and learn things that you're not interested in, but you might be able to find an angle or perspective to get interested in it. So one of the ways I've done this, if I find something boring, is to research the real world application of what you're learning. This can give you some perspective into some of the cool things you can do with this information and why it's being taught to you in the first place. Because I think a lot of the times people aren't interested in material is because they're, they think there's no real world application. So maybe try and research that. You know, usually people aren't interested and they say things like, when am I ever going to use this? So maybe look it up. When can you use this? For example, let's say you're forced to study physics in college. Well, maybe you could look into some stories of famous physicists like Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, or Stephen Hawking. Maybe they'll inspire you and you'll start to think that physics is cool. Or maybe you could just find some regular people online that are passionate about what you have to learn and their passion might rub off on you. So when I have to study something technical, that's the first thing I do is I maybe Google or do some research to find an angle to get interested in what I have to learn. All right, the second thing I do when I'm studying something new that's technical is I use building blocks to study it. So the thing that I used to struggle with, and I think a lot of people struggle with for comprehension of material, is that they don't understand the prerequisite material to what they have to learn. I can even give you a personal story. Like when I first started learning Python, I knew like the basic syntax, like loops, variables, conditionals, but I got really interested and passionate in it. And I thought I could get ahead of myself and just go from basic syntax in Python to learning computer vision. But no matter how much I read about computer vision in Python, I was never able to understand it or comprehend comprehend anything. I could read it over and over again. I wouldn't comprehend it because I didn't understand the prerequisite material. They would constantly be asking me to use a command line, libraries, classes, etc. Things I just didn't know about Python yet or just computer programming in general that I needed to understand before I took on the task of studying computer vision. For anything technical you need to learn, you should try and learn the fundamentals and prerequisite information before you move on to something that you might not be able to understand without that information. Technical things that you need to learn are usually innovations from previous technical things that already existed. Sometimes you don't need to understand too much of the prerequisite information, but if you find yourself struggling to understand words or subject matter, then maybe look to see if there is prerequisite information that you're missing. When you're learning math as a kid, you usually do addition, subtraction, then multiplication, then division. Before you take calculus, you usually take algebra, geometry, trigonometry. So always just keep in mind building blocks because you're always gonna understand technical things better when you understand the fundamental information. Okay, so step three when you're trying to learn something technical is practice. This is kind of an obvious one, but 
have you ever heard of the term practice makes perfect? What about the 10,000 hour rule where you have to dedicate 10,000 hours to your craft in order to master it? Well, that's just true with anything in life. Anything you wanna get good at, you need to practice to get good at it. And the practice should be consistent and on a daily basis. If you're only practicing or studying to learn something technical on a weekly basis, so like once a week, you're going to forget all the stuff you learned the week before. You need to do it on a daily basis so that you're remembering the material from the day before and you can track your improvement. And then the very last step to my study process for technical content is to teach slash communicate. Teaching is one of the best ways to thoroughly understand technical material. If you can't teach somebody else, then you haven't mastered it. Now, I know not everybody can be a good teacher and it might be a little bit difficult to put yourself out there, find somebody to teach, but there are a lot of opportunities if you wanna try on social media to teach people things that you're learning. But in general, maybe just try and find somebody to have long, deep discussions about the technical things that you're learning. This can help you come up with questions you don't think of yourself or answer questions that you might have. Either way, teaching is a pretty good benchmark, in my opinion, to determine whether your practice has paid off. Because I think if you can explain the technical material from a low level to a high level to somebody else, communicate clearly all the concepts, answer the questions, then you understand it pretty thoroughly. So this is my study strategy that I've used from college up until now, and it's worked extremely well for me. So I hope that you guys can take something from this video and maybe get motivated to practice every day go out and teach, to understand all the prerequisite material and to try and comprehend things better. Maybe get interested in what you're learning. I think that's really important is to just try and be interested in things. And uh, if you can't do that, try and figure out a way to get interested in them. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And I'd like to hear about your study habits in the comments below. Maybe I can learn something to add to my study strategies. And if not, maybe let's get a debate going about whether books or videos are better resources for learning. Do not forget to check out and sign up for a free live class with this video sponsor, Scalar. The link is in the description, guys. Try it. Your career will thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.